Transverse velocity is an object's motion perpendicular to the observer's line of sight. So here we're looking at an event in the sky relative to that of the sun. And if we use the sun as our line of sight, we could draw this red line here that passes through the event. Motion of the event towards or away from the sun would be the radial velocity motion, which occurs along the line of sight. Motion perpendicular to the radial velocity motion or perpendicular to the line of sight is the transverse velocity. So I'm gonna put a 90 degree symbol in here to indicate 90 degrees or perpendicular radial velocity and transverse velocity vectors. Motion perpendicular to the line of sight or to the radial velocity vector is known as the transverse velocity. And like the radial velocity vector, it has units of length divided by time, which typically is given in units of kilometers per second. If we take a look at the Earth and we put a human standing on the Earth and they're looking up at an object in the sky, such as a star, which in this case is on our celestial sphere, and we find our line of sight that passes through that celestial object, the next thing you need to do is find the perpendicular to that line of sight. Draw in your perpendicular line and then find the motion along that perpendicular line. That's what's called the transverse velocity, which I'll abbreviate as TV. The radial velocity is abbreviated RV. In this particular example, I have my object moving away and moving to the right, which I define as positive. So outward is positive and to the right is positive in this particular example.